So why do you want to use my theater? Well, sir, you know I've made a lot of vegetable shows. That's sort of your thing. Uh, yes, it's my thing. <laughs> and I've got a new idea. It's something really exciting. What Bob is trying to tell you is, we want to do a new show in a theater in front of a real audience called The, the Veggie Tales Show. show. VeggieTales has been playing on TBN for probably 20 plus years, and I think they were made for each other. It's about time to revive this brand. We're really excited about that. It's new in that we've added some new elements, but we've kept what's so beloved about the show, everything that's so special about VeggieTales, and we've also kept what's so iconic to the brand. There's lessons that really go deep and wide but they're really poignant and they're really accessible to kids. We want to go back to the old VeggieTales as far as an aesthetic, a look. We're kind of a virtual operation. We have artists in Florida, in Australia. Todd Carter's doing a fantastic job on the storyboards and has been with the series for nine seasons. Ho, 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 it's time for the show. Curtain in 10 seconds. Oh dear. In this new premise, Bob and Larry have their own theater. And the great thing about this is we can explore different themes and new stories from the Bible that we haven't been able to tell before in a whole new way. In the new show, we're really going back to the roots of classic veggies. It's really all about Bob and Larry wanting to put on a show for kids. They want to teach things to kids. Bob wants to help kids. Larry wants to help Bob. Did someone ask for a Christmas tree? Ta-da! It feels great to be back as Larry the Cucumber. Uh, I'm really excited to be doing Larry's voice again for the new VeggieTales series. It's a character that's really a part of me. You know, I've been voicing Larry for, for very, very many years, and I feel like he's an old friend. You're the president of the VeggieTales fan club. Are you aware of any letters we've received that deal with this particular situation? We have one. Is it about food? So we start with a question. You gotta start with a question. A kid with a question, and then Bob and Larry responding by putting on a show, because there's never, ever, ever, ever been a show like VeggieTales. Now we're taking that show out of the kitchen countertop and putting it into a theater. We get a Bible story in just about every episode. We get a biblical value in every episode, and we get to answer a kid's question. And that's what motivates Bob. It's also, ironically, what motivates me. In this new series, we're going back to the basics of what made VeggieTales so great in the first place. Bible stories, funny songs, and loads and loads of silliness. I'm excited about the new setting that we have. We're in a theater here, and so we get to take advantage of a, a pit orchestra and a lot of live instruments, and I've always loved that in what we do already. I never think of myself as writing children's music. You know, it might be a tango for a silly song. Well, Mike and I wrote a legitimate tango for that that just happens to be sung by a talking cucumber. Have we got a show for you. It's humbling and it's gratifying to have the opportunity to continue to tell stories to new generations. Always remember, kids, God made you special. And he loves you very much. These characters, even though they're vegetables, they're funny, they're silly, they all are dealing with human conditions and challenges. They're really character-driven stories, and the stories come first. When we got Phil's first script for the pilot episode, it, it absolutely blew us away. VeggieTales is back. 